it puts off your orgasm, it takes longer to reach orgasm, and then it, for the man, he won't be able to maintain an erection. Gotcha. And soon he won't be able to forget where he left the car or his keys or name. So my advice to people is if you're too drunk to drive, uh -huh. don't park. Ah. Very good, Jim. <laughs> Gary, like the Gary thanked you on that one. Sally, is that true? Does, uh, does uh, liquor hinder your uh, sexual prowess, do you think, for you? Me? I don't drink. I don't have any problems with my sexual prowess. Okay. I don't need any props at all. Yeah, sex is pretty Although this astonishing. Is nice. I prefer to. <laughs> no, wait, wait. This is the, this this one here. Now, just give it a minute. This is for our announcer, Bill. Okay, Bill here. Is the, oh my God, the original love you, the inflatable party sheep. <laughs> Bill. Whoa. <laughs> you know, you inflate it, you put it in your passenger seat, and it allows you to drive in the diamond lane in Texas. You know? People actually use inflatable uh, things. Why? Feeds <laughs> me. Uh, we did a road test on these things, and it's sort of like going down on Tupperware. A road test? Yeah, it's, uh, it's not my idea of a good time. But women have inflatable men, too, right? Yeah, they do. You can buy an inflatable man with moving parts. <laughs> and... <laughs> And you can fly, buy an inflatable man and pull a string and he'll talk to you, which is... I was liking this more and more. And you were telling me I was full of hot air. At least they don't yeah. talk back, right? Now, here's something. I was in New York last week. This is large, large size condoms. Let me show this here. All right, these are larger size condoms. And uh, who Thanks. asked this? Yeah, really. uh, uh, Steve Ober, our producer, wanted to know about this. Steve Ober, there he is over there. Uh, wants to know now that now that they've come out with large condoms, what the hell is he supposed to do? Is what um, it says here. Take vitamins. Yeah. <laughs> Buy the box and slip your regular size inside. Uh, no, this is actually one of the things is that uh, you know because of the AIDS uh, epidemic, we have acquired condom consciousness, and mm -hmm. and condom manufacturers are going back to the designing board and right. coming up with some really interesting condoms. There's uh, the, the condoms for the uh, more well-endowed man. There are mm -hmm. condoms for smaller men called huggers. Uh, sorry, what are they called? Huggers. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, there are, someone has invented a glow-in-the-dark condom. You leave it out <laughs> under a light and it glows in the dark. Uh, and you can use that to, like, direct aircraft landings <laughs> on... Uh, and, and uh, I read somewhere that, believe it or not, the, the Swiss Army invented a camouflage condom. Not a good idea. It was there a minute ago, I'm sure, you know? No, that's uh, the spoon. Oh, no. Uh, and, uh, you know, they've done things like uh, done uh, condoms now that have a little adhesive tapering around it so that they won't slip off. And I'm waiting to see an ad for that condom because you get the, doesn't it raise the same question you had when pulling off Band-Aids when you were young? Do you pull it off slower? Yeah! Uh, so they are rethinking the condom, and it's interesting yeah. because they're doing that, and you find out about it in uh -huh. stores, because you aren't going to see ads on TV for yeah. condoms, you know, like, although I wish that they would put them on. So we have to go here, but what's the best way to ask for a condom when you go to a store if you're nervous about it? Uh, I would like uh, enough for tonight, 12 dozen, please. I think that's... Uh, a... or, or... 12 dozen? James yeah. Peterson, the Playboy Advisor. Thank you, Sally Kirkland. We'll be back with Chuck Boone. Stay where you are. Yeah.